and welcome back to my channel you lovely lovely people so today i am filming a mcdonald's mcbang and we are back in the car again obviously we're in a lockdown and the only places i can film is either in my bedroom or in the car pretty much and yeah i just wanted to film one in the car just to mix it up you know because the background of my bedroom is just gonna get boring real quick um but i've actually just been to starbucks as well and i'm literally so sad but they've put out these new like plastic cup things and i'm obsessed i think it was like two pound fifty or whatever and every time you use it you save 25p which i know they stopped originally because of covid but they've bought it back now so i'm obsessed so good and it's like so tall as well so i'm in a very good mood i can't lie every time i have a starbucks coffee i'm literally in the best mood and today i'm actually trying the new mcdonald's katsu chicken nuggets i'm at a red light by the way in case you're wondering why is she chilling in the middle of the road i've literally wanted to film this video since when they came out the 31st of december because if you know my channel every time a new mcdonald's drink or like starbucks drink anything like that i have to try it especially mcdonald's they've just had so many videos that i've like had pre-planned and stuff like that so i'm a bit late to the game but saying that i haven't actually watched anyone try them i've seen so many youtubers that i'm subscribed to try these nuggets but i just haven't been able to click on the video because i just want to save it all for like when i try them myself because i don't want other people's opinions to sway you because you know like if someone really hates them and then you try them you've already got like the idea in your head that you're not gonna like them and i think it comes with a sweet curry dip which i really hope isn't the standard curry dip that mcdonald's sell because i really don't like the curry dip i'm like a sweet and sour girl through and through i love me sweet and sour but yeah anyway how is everyone doing how are we all coping with lockdown which i believe has now been extended <laughs> to the 31st of march which is literally mad i know a lot of people don't like to talk about it on youtube and stuff because like youtube is definitely an escape for a lot of people but at the same time it's like a huge thing going on in the world i feel like we need to talk about it and like see how everyone is coping and stuff personally i am coping quite well this time touch wood quick she says i think just because like, i knew exactly what was going on like the first lockdown was very what's going on like this deadly new virus it's really scary whereas this lockdown even though actually statistically this lockdown we're actually doing worse like figure wise than the first lockdown which is so scary and especially i feel like this lockdown is a lot more closer to home i feel like everyone knows someone who has had covid or has currently got covid because obviously the rates are so high whereas the first lockdown i feel like it was quite rare if you knew someone that had it but yeah with that being said i hope everyone is coping okay and if not or whatever or if you need someone to talk to like outside your circle or whatever please know that my instagram dms are always open obviously my comments are too but i feel like personally if i was in that situation i'd want to like instagram dm someone obviously because it's a bit more private a bit more personal we're here oh my god they've got new mcflurry as well i can't get that though because technically i am on the diet i hope my trainer isn't watching this hello can i take your order please hello please can i get the nine piece katsu curry meal please um it only comes with a six nugget meal Oh yeah, can I get that please? Yeah, what drink? Can I get an Oasis, sorry? Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. That's weird. I thought they did nine, because I've seen a box of 20, and the sign said six, nine, or 20, so... I hope these are nice, because obviously I haven't got anything else if they're not. Maybe I should have got some on the side. park up somewhere so let's just try and get a thumbnail is that thumbnail honey it's a fucking red light yeah i need to go park up somewhere because my mcdonald's car park is like a smush and if you know a smush it's a small confined space in the dictionary of emily speaking of i was talking to this girl shout out to madison and she didn't know my name and then it made me think like have i ever actually said my name like does anyone know my name because obviously my youtube handle is really weird like it's m x s a oh sorry donny i thought it was indicate don't hate me it's always the hardest place when filming a mukbang is where to pull up which sounds like a very small problem and it is a very small problem but nevertheless it's still a problem like where do i pull up because i'm not pulling up outside fucking houses 
with the neighbours are watching, do you know what I mean? Get put in some like neighbour road chats. Anyone know why that weird girl is sitting in her car outside my house stuffing her face with chicken nuggets and filming herself? Call the police. There's a mad girl in town. And I'm talking like that because literally that is like how my road chat is down my road. Oh, the Margaret's coming out. I've just seen a very weird boy walking down the road talking to himself. Margaret, it's called AirPods, honey. He's on the phone. I kid you not, someone actually said that once. And I was literally like, that is my friend from primary school. He's literally on the phone. People are just very, very paranoid. To be fair, I don't blame them with what's going on in the world with a lot of burglaries and stuff, you know. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. Exactly. So these are the katsu curry nuggets. They look like really crummy. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Oh no. They didn't even give me the um, sauce that you're supposed to have with it. That's brilliant. I just have to try it with the sweet and sour. Do you know what? They really taste like curry. Like if I was to have this alone, like a blind taste test, what flavour nugget is this? 100% I would say katsu curry. Really tastes like it. It's actually so good, you know. It's got like a layer of like yellow curry flavouring in the inside. What I was trying to say earlier before I got the McDonald's was I literally love when people Instagram message me and I feel like recently I don't know if it's because I've been manifesting like my channel growing or whatever but I've been getting so many lovely messages recently and it honestly makes my whole entire week because I was actually thinking the other day like with YouTube and stuff like obviously I have the people I watch like you know everything about their life but from being in the like YouTube like actually filming the videos like the YouTuber perspective like I want to know actually who's watching my videos and like about their life and stuff just get to know who's actually watching me um it's also mad how you realize there's so many like similar people like you out there in the world that have a similar mindset and like into the same stuff like i literally love it that is one of the reasons why i love doing youtube is because you get to know so many new people and like hear about their lives and stuff like i just love it mm. let me try and show you what the inside if you can kind of see the like see the yellow curry lime i literally find it so hard to talk and eat at the same time Especially today, I feel like I'm ravenous. I just want to shove it all in my mouth. What I did want to talk about in today's video, which is quite the contradiction to what I'm eating at the moment. Oh my God. Sorry, these chips are too good. I literally can't talk. I just need to shove this all in my mouth. My windows are all steamed up right now and I'm literally like making those noises. People are probably going to think what's going on in there. I'll stop shoving food in my face now. But what I was going to say is i've actually like hired is this hired the right word like working with um a personal trainer while she says eating mcdonald's and drinking a sugary drink but yeah i'm literally so excited because i joined the gym last january so it's like been a year of like my transformation like lifestyle change or whatever joining the gym and like calorie counting why do i still have my seatbelt on who knows and i feel like my body has definitely changed a lot in the year but i'm definitely not where i want to be in terms of my body so i just found this man on instagram and yeah we had a zoom call um got to know him got to know what he can offer me and it sounds so good i'm so excited so basically he's made me a food plan like a nutrition plan and also an exercise plan so we're doing it monthly at the moment i feel like three months like 12 weeks is the amount of time they say that it takes to for you to notice and people to notice so i'm really excited to like, do a three month transformation so this is probably going to be my last bad food like takeaway in a while because i really want to try and stick to it um she says this is why i have to say it on my channel so i hold myself accountable because if i say it on here and then my next video or like on my instagram it's like me eating a massive burger do you know what I mean? I can look like a twat because I've literally just said how I want to do a transformation. But yeah, I'm really excited just to see what he can do because what I find is that obviously I love doing my calorie counting videos and I know a lot of you guys love them types of videos and I love filming them. But same me and my friends, same age, same height or whatever, are both on 1,500 calories. I don't actually know, one, if that's the right amount for me. Like, obviously, you can work out of your Apple Watch how much you burn. But personally, I don't know from an actual, like, professional's perspective if 
like what the actual amount I should be on and also yeah like say for me and my friend we're both on my first 500 I could be eating like loads of chicken loads of veg loads of protein loads of carbs and they could be eating like loads of artificial sweets and snacks like all low calorie still in the same calorie category do you know what I mean like you could say to someone eat 1500 calories but what should they actually eat like how many grams of protein should they eat how many grams of carbs should they eat how many vegetables and fruits should they eat like just saying yeah eat 1500 calories is so vague because you could literally just eat like so much artificial crap it just sounds really good like you have i think it was weekly seminars i think he said where you like learn stuff like he'll talk about a topic a week and you meet um everyone else who's training so it sounds really cute like a little team and stuff and i was saying to him like i just want a challenge being in lockdown i think obviously it depends where your mindset is at because if someone told me to do this in the first lockdown when i wasn't like mentally there i would be like f off i just feel really positive recently and i feel like now is the time for me to have a challenge with lockdown or whatever because we literally have so much time for ourselves and it's actually so nice that like, i'm really enjoying it at the moment like you're not going out you're not getting fomo with everyone going out and you staying in like you have so much time to read self-help books to practice self-love to work on yourself to eat good food to do exercises to try and lose weight to start a new hobby like we have so much time i just feel like now is the perfect time for me to like challenge myself and just see how far i can push myself and stick to a strict diet and stick to like an exercise routine and he was like what goal do you want and for me personally i want to like clean up my stomach all my weight is literally in my stomach and also grow my bum i want a nice big juicy booty so yeah he's like designed it all for that um suited to like my height and weight and how many steps i do a day and all stuff like that so Obviously, I'm going to document it all on my channel and still do what I eat in a day. Is like, I can do, like, what I eat in a day. A calorie count in from my trainer, so that would be cool. Hopefully, he can give us, like, some new recipes that I'll include on my channel and stuff like that. So, expect a lot of what I eat in the day videos to come in because I'll definitely be on the health wave. I just think it's exciting, like, when you've been doing it for, like, a year, it's just kind of boring. It's like what do i actually eat like i just want someone to tell me you need to eat this amount of calories you need to do this exercise three times a week your form's not good for that exercise you need to start progressing your like weights as in like on the barbell you need to issue to that i just want someone who is professionally trained to tell me what the f to do you know and just see how my body actually changes because i always think like oh i've been doing this a year now like can my bum ever get to like that big and i just feel like when you're stuck in a rut or like you haven't actually been trained or like had a trainer tell you what exactly to do you kind of just assume that my body will always look like this i'm really excited just to work with someone who's going to tell me exactly how i can achieve my goals you know i am excited as well to like learn new things like my friend's currently doing a personal training course at the moment and i feel like i would love to do something like that especially on nutrition like doing the what i eat in a day videos doing the recipes and stuff like i really really enjoy that and i feel like actually like learning about nutrition and calories and stuff and actually being able to like give good information and good advice because i do get a lot of people asking me certain like calories advice and obviously i'm just talking from experience but it'd be so nice to actually talk with knowledge and have some like actual facts statistics or whatever behind me but i feel like definitely with a trainer i will learn a lot about everything i really wish i had someone here to talk to because i feel like it's just like me 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 also how cute is my little jumper i didn't show it earlier it says say less mean more it's from plt it's so cute i added it to my basket like i always do like every single day pretty much i go on the new insection add stuff to my basket literally with no intention of buying it but i just like, add my favorite stuff and then i saw on molly may's story that she had this in blue and i was like you know what that's a sign i need to go and buy it and i did and i'm so glad i did because it's such nice quality like it feels different from their normal like sweaters it just feels really nice and i just love the same i want to start wearing like t-shirts with more like meaningful like affirmations on you know like say less mean more that is a mood but yeah i'm probably gonna drive home now i'm actually going for a walk with my mum tonight it's so good if anyone needs motivation for exercise but literally hates exercise my mum has been doing like this hour walk every night and the other night i thought i'll just go with her because i needed to get more steps in because i do like to hit 10,000 steps a day so i went with her and basically she like speeds walk you know like when you see their mums and they like speed walk and they like walk like this like waddle their bum that was literally us for an hour like we speed walked it was basically a slow run it was insane i literally got a stitch at like, halfway through i was like mom please like i can't and she would just like 
go off like she was on a mission because she was timing herself like she timed herself every night and tries to like beat it every single night and we did 7.16k in 65 minutes i think it was which i think is amazing like normally they say 5k is one hour of walking it was so good i think on my watch it said i burnt 400 300 calories which is insane for just like an hour's walk like that is what i do in a courtney black workout in like 40 minutes on days that you really can't be bothered to like do a hit workout do like proper sweaty intense workout honestly go for a walk but yeah i'm gonna drive home now so i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like and subscribe because i'd really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video bye